Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Good, good morning. How's everybody doing? Good morning to everybody. Good, good morning. Let's wait for some people to join in so we can start. news in the world that is happening right now so God bless every single one of you let's see if we can get some people on the live feed so we can start how's everybody doing I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News and America's Voice News God bless everybody that is watching God bless my country of Mexico my city of Tijuana and God bless the United States of America let's thank God for another day for giving us two legs two arms a mind that we can think a heart that we can feel and eyes that we can see God bless every single one of you. News as breaking as yesterday. Authorities from Brazil. Authorities. Not from Venezuela. Authorities from, from Brazil are reporting that they are seeing Russian soldiers in the borders of Venezuela. Watch out. Authorities from Brazil, from the from uh, the government of Brazil, are saying that they have seen hundreds of soldiers in the borders of Venezuela. Venezuela connects the border to Brazil. Now, this is a major concern, humongous concern, due to the fact that there's two things. First one is that they have seen Russian soldiers, hundreds of them, but in Venezuelan military uniform. Watch out. If they are doing this, they have they have, Venezuela with Russia has always had a relationship since 2008. They have been exchanging uh, artillery and also nuclear weapons. But now, now they are, you know, are they are out in the open, and as uh, reports uh, from Brazilian uh, authorities, they say that hundreds of Russians are being camouflage in the Venezuelan uniform, military uniform, and they've been patrolling, patrolling the borders of Brazil. This is a huge conflict. It's going to be a humongous conflict with Brazil, as Brazil just addressed the problem yesterday, addressed the problem and his own government, and it is protecting their borders due to whatever conflict they might cost. Now, this is a concern to the United States of America. Why? The concern to the United States of America is because the United States has sanctions, has a sanction on Venezuelan uh, territory, and also it is prohibiting them from gasoline to enter their country of Venezuela. This is, it brings out a red light Due to the fact that what the hell is Russian military dressed up as Venezuelan military and patrolling the borders to connect to Brazil. Also, Colombian authorities have been reporting that, that, that Russian military is on the borders that connect to Venezuela. Colombian authorities also are reporting that Russian military is dressed up as Venezuelan military. A then and then they have been patrolling also the borders that connect to Venezuela, to Colombia, and also to Venezuela, to Brazil. This is a huge concern and it comes together with another topic that is delicate. Venezuela has been hiding a provider 
and also supposedly a uh, company that underneath all the you know all the excitement of uh, the gasoline situation in Venezuela this uh, provider of gasoline is a secret business individual which nobody knows in which they have been hiding uh, from authorities from the United States government and also from authorities that they know that they have a sanction with gasoline. Due to the gasoline crisis in Venezuela that people are doing lines for weeks to get gasoline in their cars, due to this factor, now they have a humongous provider that uh, it is hiding and they don't want to say who it is. They're protecting this, this, this individual. Not only that, Nicolas Maduro has come out and the government from Venezuela has come out to say that this provider or this, you know, in a way, uh, sponsor, as you can say, that wants to help Venezuela with gasoline, this sponsor or provider, the Nicolas Maduro dictator and also the Venezuelan government has said that they are going to, they are going to try to protect him as much as they can. Although they're violating their own sanction, they're going to try to protect him for him to not be out in the open and for people to not know who it is. Unbelievable. This comes with the conflict of interest that I just told you about that Russians are being uh, identified in the borders of Brazil wearing the Venezuelan uh, uh, military uniform and also uh, in Colombia. Colombia has been reporting that Russians have been detected being dressed up as Venezuelan military uniform. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. It will it will immediately, you know, cause a conflict uh, due to the fact that Brazil is preparing their borders uh, uh, and also Brazil is, pre is preparing uh, their is, is getting security measure security security measures in their borders also Colombia it is preparing with their military to prepare with security measures in their borders for people that don't understand I will make it quite simple with you know, apples and oranges, all right? There's a country that his name is Venezuela. Venezuela has a border with Colombia on the north and Brazil on the south. Russian military has been infiltrating to Venezuela. Brazil, the government of Brazil has just seen hundreds of Russians dressed up as Venezuelan military uniform. Also in Colombia, they have seen Russian military dressed up as Venezuelan military uniform, which it means that it's going to be a conflict of interest. Which is the conflict of, conflict of interest right now? The other topic that I was talking to you about. Venezuela is hiding that there's a provider or a sponsor which is, going, which is going to provide gasoline secretly to Venezuela. Why secretly? Venezuela is being sanctioned with gasoline by the United States of America. And they are blocking the entrance to Venezuela. They are blocking, remember, the last provider and the last sponsor for that it was helping Venezuela with supplies and it was sending big ships to Venezuela, it was Iran. They stopped that and they stopped the entrance from Iran to Venezuela to provide gasoline. Who was providing gasoline to Venezuela? Russia. Watch out. Russia was providing gasoline also to Iran and also petroleum. Watch out. 
So this right here, it tells you that there is going to be a conflict of interest enormously in this in this part of the uh, in this part of South America, Central America. There's going to be a, a conflict of interest enormously. Now there's been speculations that Chinese boats are being surrounded in China uh, and uh, in Canada. And also there's been a speculation, which is a lie, the Chinese militaries, they have been entering our country of Mexico. That is a lie. That is a complete oblivious lie. Now, this is a reality. Russian military, it is in the Venezuelan part. They have been taking pictures by the uh, Russian government, by the uh, Brazilian government. They have taken pictures by the Brazilian government. And Bolsonaro, the president of Brazil, is in major concern. He is really concerned due to the fact that reports have been seen, Russians speaking Russian in military uniform of the Venezuelan government, and also Russians patrolling the border of uh of brazil and also that connects to venezuela in venezuelan military uniform ah oh my god these communist countries humongous problem this is a huge huge problem humongous problem it's going to cost a lot of a lot of conflict of, of interest huge conflict of interest sorry and this comes to you know the other topic that I was telling you uh, the other topic that I was telling you that is all about gasoline all about gasoline uh, Venezuela has been blocked from receiving gasoline by the United States of America and also is being sanctioned and they have been investigations that there's a provider and there's a sponsor in Venezuela that is trying to help Venezuela to get gasoline, but secretly. The president, Nicolás Maduro, is hiding this provider and this, and this sponsor. And also, the whole government of Venezuela is, you know, is trying to hide this sponsor and this provider, which is not going to last that much. I'll tell you that. It's not going to last that much. It is not. Uh, the United States government is going to find out who it is. The United States government is going to find out immediately who it is. It's not going to last like that. You know, it's not going to last that long, which is going to cause another, you know, problem due to the fact that William Barr and Mike Pompeo want Nicolas Maduro to leave you know, the presidency of Venezuela to rescue the Venezuelan people from this socialist dictatorship that is implemented in this country. Venezuela is suffering. Remember the statistic that I told you, Venezuela before socialism was the number three country in the whole Latin America, as richest country in the whole Latin America. Now is the number three country for the most poor country in Latin America. The Venezuelan people are dying. They don't have enough uh, supplies for COVID. They don't have enough supplies, hospitals, nurses. They don't have enough food, electricity, water. They don't have this. So they're suffering a lot. And it's particularly, uh, you know, if we want to talk about gasoline, they don't have it. So it is a humongous problem. It is a huge problem that is occurring right now in uh, Venezuela. Now, touching on another topic, and this is a topic that I was talking about, uh, you know, during this uh, months that we've been saying about uh, COVID peaks in the world. We've been talking about this for COVID peaks. Now, if you try to, you know, simulate what we've been saying for the past six months, that the left and the radical left and the elite have been saying that between the months of September and November, there was going to be more peaks of COVID and nobody believed it. Now is a reality, people. It is a reality. And you know what they said when COVID started? They said that when it was going to be hot weather, COVID was going to be decreasing due to the hot weather. When it's going to be cold weather, 
winter, COVID was going to be on a rise. It hasn't decreased in hot weather. It has increased in hot weather. And now they're telling me that in cold weather is going to increase. Wow. Amazingly, this leftist, you know, elite, these globalists. And now they're saying, ultimately, that I've been telling you, one of the one of the countries that has been suffering a lot due to COVID infections has been Paris. Paris has registered in the last 24 hours, last week on a Saturday, in the last 24 hours, more than 29,000 infected uh, people due to the COVID uh, peaks that have been registered in Paris, France. Not only in Paris, in the whole Europe, England, uh, you know, uh, Germany, uh, Spain, and Italy, and most, and mostly recently in Ireland, they have been registering high, high peaks of COVID in Ireland, and most recently, Switzerland. Switzerland, that has a country that has been declared that don't, does, uh, they, they, you know, they're not wearing a mask, they're not, uh, they're not, you know, they're not uh, following the protocols of the World Health Organization. Switzerland has been one of the countries that says there's no COVID, it's just a flu. Uh, you know, we're not following the, you know, we're not following the World Health uh, Organization protocols. Now, Switzerland is saying that. You know, probably they're going to start with the protocols of wearing a mask. It's controlled the population enormously to these countries that they were free. Now the World Health Organization is penetrating their ideologies and is changing the complete uh, strategy to attack COVID. Now they're saying, you know what? This, uh, this, uh, this uh, peaks of COVID. Uh, it is a reality in Switzerland. Switzerland right now it is practically thinking of closing their country amazing 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 what we've been, what we have been talking about of peaks of COVID people we have been talking about our peaks of COVID for the past months and I've been telling you watch out for this watch out because they're gonna try to put everybody on lockdown due to this year that has been you know, probably one of the worst years since uh, since World War since War World Two. Probably one of the worst years since that. If it, if it isn't if it isn't the worst year in humankind, they're going to try to put us on lockdown for us to completely, you know, on this elections that the most important elections in history, the most important elections in history are this ones uh, from the United States of America and. Uh, you know, with Donald Trump and Joe Biden, which touching on the subject, <laughs> I want to talk. I want to say something about this. Man. Donald Trump has been the president of the United States of America. Donald Trump is being criticized again by the left because he said that he's tired of these stupid people. Is uh, being criticized. Hardly is being criticized uh, because he has no filter again, uh, because he speaks his mind, and ultimately because he said this uh, against Anthony Fauci and his regulations that he's trying to put. The left and the Democrats and the you know leftist radicals liberals, they are uh, criticizing Donald Trump because he said. Clearly, he said that Anthony Fauci is tired of these stupid people. Now, who's not tired of these stupid people, man? <laughs> I'm tired of these stupid people. You guys are, are you guys tired of these stupid people? <clears throat> Just tell me if you guys are not tired of these stupid people. Just tell me if you guys are not tired of these stupid people. Are you guys not tired? Is it a lie? Are we hiding something? Are we hiding something? Are we hiding our our, our feelings? Are we are hiding? You know, uh, you know. Are we hiding something behind uh, behind a blanket? Are we hiding ourselves? You know why you get upset 
of something that is really happening. The economy of the United States of America is the greatest provider of the world. There's no sugar coating on that and there's no line behind that. There's no curtain. It is the greatest economy of the world and it is, it is, and it is an economy that is being stopped right now due to this created biowarfare virus that it was made to collapse the economy of every economy, but particularly, directly, and inevitably, the United States of America. People are tired of this. People are tired of wearing a mask, going to a Walmart, going to a store, going to whatever part. People are tired of not, you know, congregating with their family members. People are tired of this. And if he calls you stupid, believe me, it's just a little word that you deserve. Because the World Health Organization and the sector of health of the United States of America has been relied on you, Anthony Fossey, and you haven't found a solution. The World Health Organization hasn't found a solution. Where is your damn vaccine? Where is it? Where is your vaccine? Where's AstraZeneca? And the $1.2 billion that the United States government gave to AstraZeneca to AstraZeneca to study with Oxford University to try to find a cure. Where is it? We need a cure. We need a solution. We need something to tell the world population that something is going to be done. Where is uh, Sanofi that wanted to spend $12,000 million, $12, million on the first 150 million samples? Where are you? Nobody's saying nothing about that right now. The only vaccine that is being populated and it's being, uh, it's, it's not, it has not been uh, polarized is Sputnik V from Russia. No wonder, huh? From Russia, Sputnik V. So if you get mad, because imagine how Trump feels. And if, you feel, if, if you've been called stupid, that's the least of the insult that you deserve. For God's sake, the only economy that hasn't collapsed in the whole world is the economy of, of China that has a positive 3.2 of the GDP. You gotta be kidding me with that. Where the virus was created and you have a positive 3.2 of the GDP of the gross domestic product and the other economies around the world, they have minus 10, minus eight, minus seven, minus 12, the UK, for God's sake. And you're telling me that, you know, you feel insulted because people are calling you stupid? Wow. Where are your liberal feelings? You want a hug? Do you want a hug? You want a hug because your feelings were hurt? Really? Or do you want, you know, you want me to uh, get you a milkshake with a nice uh, Oreo cookie? You know, and, and flip the Oreo cookie and just get the icing on one part and the other part chocolate. So you can dip it on the milkshake. You want that? You really, you want that? Oh my God, you saw how what he said in the morning? I cannot believe it, Dorothy. I cannot believe it. He called Anthony Fossey stupid. Oh my God, he has no heart. He's, he's such a narcissist. I knew it, I knew it all along. All the time with your liberal feelings. All the time. But there's no problem resolved. There's all the time your liberal feelings. All the time liberal feelings. We are trying to resolve this situation. You wanted more tests. Oh my God, he's not giving us tests, Dorothy. He is the worst country. Oh my God, we got the best economy. He says the best economy and cannot fix COVID. He's not a doctor, Dorothy. He's not a doctor. I don't care. He's not a doctor. He needs to fix it. More than 50 million tests, Dorothy. More than 50 million tests that have been done. And what? What he has resolved? He's not God, Dorothy. Ah, uh, well, he's acting like one. All the time. Oh my God, but Donald Trump speaks and he speaks his mind and he speaks his heart and he says, you know what, this is stupid. This is stupid. We cannot resolve the situation. Uh, we have invested a lot. We have lost a lot of money. 
and it cannot be resolved. And he calls the situation stupid. And oh my God, oh my God, you saw how he was. And uh, oh my God, he was dancing. I saw him dancing. And it was so insulting. How can you dance in a situation like this, Dorothy? How can you dance? The least that you can do is be in dressed up in all red attire, like the ones protesters that they were protesting outside of the Connie Annie Barrett in Washington. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy smokes, people. Holy smokes, really. It's amazing. Why you get insulted when we are, when we are, you know, in the middle of the worst, the worst situation in history. I have said this for the longest of time. COVID, it does exist. For people to say, no, oh, it's a flu, it's a flu. It exists. It was a virus. It has already been studied by scientists. It is a virus that is created by four particles: particles of of of, new, of, uh, of malaria, particles of HIV, particles of influenza, particles of a typical pneumonia. That is this this pneumonia. It was created to decrease the population and to attack the world. It was created, and it's just it was created. It is the greatest smokescreen. Yes, it is because of COVID. You know, you get control of population, control of the world, decrease the population, collapse of the economy, and the new world order coming in. This is completely stupid. Yes, it is. And if you get your feelings insult, in, insulted, please go, you know, live on somewhere else or lock yourself in a basement and don't come out because this is a reality right now. The world needs a solution now. The world needs a solution right now. And if you got insulted because Donald Trump said that this situation was stupid, if you got insulted because he said that, you know, this situation was stupid, well, believe me, this situation, I will tell you right now in your face, this situation, it is stupid. We're tired of this. We are so tired of this. So tired of wearing a mask. So tired that the, you know, the, the, the weapon right now that everybody is afraid in the world is not an AK-47. It's not a, uh, you know, and it's not a, a Glock. It's not a, you know, a, a nine millimeter. No, it's not. The weapon that everybody in the world that is afraid of, it is a mask. It is antibacterial soap. It is the astronaut suit. It is the gloves. It is the temperature meter. Everybody's afraid of that because because of those things you cannot work. You cannot you cannot you know move forward. You cannot enjoy your family. You cannot congregate. You cannot you know move on forward. How damaging and how traumatizing it is for our young children that they're living this lockdown. They are never going to forget this for the rest of their lives. And you are being insulted because Trump said that this was stupid. It is stupid. It is really stupid. And we are tired of it. I'm tired of being locked down. I'm, I'm tired of not going out and enjoying my family in a gathering. I'm tired of the economy not boosting in our country. First of all, I live in a, another country, my country of Mexico, it is collapsing. It is an immediate collapse and it is changing to communism. I cannot even imagine how it feels to be a United States citizen, being part of the greatest economy of the world, being part of the greatest capitalist country of the world, being part of the land of the free, the home of the brave, the best country that exists in the world, and being locked down and refuse for people to go out and now implementing their mindset to melt in their boat. Is this situation stupid? Yes, it is stupid. And if you got your feelings hurt, check your feelings, man, and grow some, and grow some, really, and put a put put a pair of pants on, man. Put a pair of pants on, because this situation, if you get your feelings hurt, I'm sorry. Move on forward. We need real women and real men to front this situation and to fix this situation from now on. 
God bless you all. I got to leave, people. <laughs> Follow my page at YouTube. It's Oscar Blue. You can subscribe to my channel. Uh, at YouTube, it's Oscar Blue. And also, uh, you can uh, follow my page at Facebook, it's Oscar Blue. God bless you all. I will be live at around 1 or 1.30 at uh, YouTube. Uh, to uh, We'll be live at uh, 1 or 1.30 at YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> to the American public and YouTube. And also, I will be live at uh, 6, uh, 6 or 6.30 at, uh, at uh, YouTube with the uh, Spanish public. God bless you all. Uh, there's my PayPal on the bottom if you guys like to contribute or help to my work. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Stay safe. Follow my partner, Real Anthony Aguero, at YouTube and also at Facebook. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Stay safe. And like we always say, peace and love, everybody, because always your country's first. God bless.